Hi, I'm Lori Lambertson. I'm one of the teachers in the Teacher Institute at the Exploratorium, and I'm going to show you one of my favorite exhibits today, Avalanche. I have an hourglass shaped box here, and inside are two granular materials, a kind of white sand and a kind of black sand. And I'm going to sort of shake them up so I get a good mix in here. And then I'm going to turn this upside down. I'm going to let the granular material run through here. And so you might think, because I've mixed up this material and now I'm just letting it fall through this narrow opening in this hourglass shaped box, that I'm going to get something that's going to be even more random than what I started with. Let's take a look at what happens. You might notice as these materials are passing through this narrow portion of this box that the materials are not becoming more randomly assorted, but they are becoming more stratified, more organized. How is that possible? It turns out it's impossible not to have this happen when I have two different materials that have different sizes and different angles of repose. What do I mean by angle of repose? That's the angle at which that material will avalanche on itself. So if I pile it up even steeper, that's where it begins to avalanche. This white sand and black sand each have differing angles of repose. It's fun to measure if you're interested in mathematics. We're not going to take the time to do that right now. But I want to tell you a little bit about the implications for this. This has implications in both geology and in engineering. In geology, differing granular materials can cause what they call long run out landslides as the smaller materials fall between the cracks of the larger materials and act almost like ball bearings underneath a rock slide. You might have seen this phenomena in a can of mixed nuts. We call it the Brazil nut effect. You shake up a can of mixed nuts, you open it up, the Brazil nuts are always on the top. One of the implications for this is in the pharmaceutical industry. If you're trying to ship materials that are different granular materials, having them being shipped in some sort of a container where they're going to be jostled around is going to cause spontaneous stratification. And that would have huge implications in the mixture of some sort of medicine. So how to design containers that don't cause spontaneous stratification is a problem for engineers. So there's science and engineering in so many of our exhibits here. And I'm really happy to share this about Avalanche.